Good morning, y'all. It is Tuesday, uh, about 11 o'clock. Hazel and I are going down to Albertsons to get some quarters for laundry. Now, Walmart would be closer. However, they act like that is an act of God to give you quarters. They go in this back office, they count them out, and they put them in a Ziploc bag. Now, you cannot tell me that Walmart does not have rolls of quarters, but that's not what this video is about. There is a no right turn on red sign and I know y'all remember that I've complained about this about people maybe honking well last night John came and picked me up and we went saw and saw a movie called Winchester it will make your nerves jangle but this sign right here he pointed out to me says no turn on red between 6 a.m. and 9 a.m. <laughs> Y'all, I am telling you, it's amazing that I can function. I never saw that about the time period. Didn't matter what time of day or night it was, I was not turning right on that red light. I, I'm telling y'all, it's just crazy. There's a lot of traffic today, which there always is in this part of the freeway. Um, but I tell y'all I'm ditzy, and some people say don't talk negatively about yourself. Well, y'all, <laughs> I, I was laughing so hard when John pointed this out to me. I'm like, I've only had people honk at me to go ahead and turn about two times. Now, I've been living over here close to this light for over six months now. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my stars. I cannot believe some of the stuff that I do. And as my mother always said to me, Deborah Joy, you would argue with a fence post. And she's right. But the only thing I can say in my defense, if you prove me wrong, I admit it and apologize if I've given you a really hard time about it. Y'all, I, I just, I don't know. I don't know why I didn't see that in all this time. Now, one thing is they have this big sign that says no turn on a red light. And it's small underneath the sign that tells you between 6 and 9 a.m. So I could blame it on <laughs> I could blame it on my glasses, but that'd probably be a lie. Because um, <laughs> I did see it this morning. Y'all, it, it's just crazy. Now, that movie we went to see last night, which, by the way, John worked yesterday, and he asked me if he could come by and pick me up between 6.30 and quarter to 7. And this man's very punctual, y'all, just like I try to be. And um, the reason he wanted to go see this show was because it's about a house that was in, I believe, San Francisco in the 1900s, the early 1900s. And it was based on a true story. Now, there were times during the movie, there was probably, it was Monday night, there were probably not more than six people in that theater. The movie started at 7.30. So, 
I was kind of cracking up at some, <laughs> oh, something's got my giggle box turned over. But anyway, I was the only one in the theater laughing. And um, that's probably one of the reasons why my kids never like going to the movies with me after they got to be a certain age. I guess it was kind of embarrassing to them. Plus the fact that I always talk to people before the lights went out in the theater. So, um, anyway, he knew the history and had toured this house before. And it was haunted, y'all, supposedly, based on a true story. Now, I don't discount anything, y'all. Um, nothing surprises me, uh, except, I guess... I do get surprised at the cruelty of humans sometimes. Now, I've got to find Miss Hazel a little bit of shade. It's not too hot, and I'll be in and out really quickly, but still, I want my baby to be comfortable. She insisted on coming. I tried to talk her out of it. Here's a sweet little Asian gentleman, and I mean, he's got on dress slacks, a dress shirt and a little matching vest he looks so nice I wonder if he works in the bank here I don't know but anyway um, I got a lot of comments oh here we go miss hazel I got a lot of comments on the little trailer park that I went through y'all and I have to tell you it's too expensive, okay? It's in a touristy town. They depend on their tourists. Um, and no, it's not the fact that they don't have fast food. I would learn to live without that unless I went, you know, to civilization somewhere. I would just start cooking. I mean... I could make my own little pancakes and put a piece of sausage between them, which is my favorite thing at McDonald's. <laughs> Y'all, every time I think about that, don't turn on red sign, it just cracks me up. But anyway, I, I made a lot of videos, and I know that I'm posting them out of sequence, and a lot of y'all really don't I looked at my demographics I don't get very many views on traveling videos unless I have somebody famous in it like Caravan Carolyn now she cannot ride around with Deborah Joy all the time <laughs> we did have such a blast though but I'm sick of the sand I want to go somewhere nice and green and John and I are going to take a couple of day trips so, um, you know, his driving makes me a little nervous. So I don't know if he's going to be a good driver for me to take videos, but we can go together and have a good time. But, um, y'all, that's it for this little video. And like I said, I have a few more to post from my trip and, um, those of you that like those videos, I hope you enjoy them. And those of you who don't like them, I still would appreciate a comment and a thumbs up. I have a change in my channel that's coming up. And um, it's probably going to stir up a little controversy. But um, it is what it is, y'all. And you know, I always say, well, I don't say this on camera very much. But since um, some things I've gone through in my life, such as marriages, I learned a long time ago to never say never. Because we can change our mind. We can do research and change our mind. We can... Um, speak with a lot of people that we know on a subject and we can change our mind now you know 
I can't really say that throughout the years when I was getting married uh, multiple times that very many people said, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. I don't remember that. Or maybe I tuned it out. <laughs> okay, I got to run in here and get some quarters because I'm meeting Teresa tomorrow for lunch. And she has a standard poodle named Cinnamon. Now, I'm not going to take Miss Hazel just because y'all know she's not the most sociable of pups. But I'm going to meet her in Escondido. And she and I might even hook up for a little day trip. Now, I'm not going to say exactly where she lives, but it's between here and Borrego Springs. Got to decline that phone call. Now, that's Miss Mary Jo calling me to do something. And I told her last night that my doctor's appointment is not until 5 this evening, but to call me early if she wanted to do something so I could be prepared. Well, y'all, it's 11 o'clock, and I've already decided I'm going to get my laundry done. And um, I'm sorry about that, but if she ca had called me at 9 or, um, you know, maybe even at 10, I might have changed my mind. But now I'm set on getting this laundry done because I'm meeting Teresa tomorrow. And we'll probably visit for quite a long time. We're going to a place in Escondido that my granddad and I used to love to go because it has an outside patio and you can take your dogs. And Miss Hazel used to sit in a chair next to us on the patio she never i hadn't turned her into a beggar yet y'all anyway i gotta go this is a 12 minute video and i've been trying to do smaller ones so i'm gonna talk real fast and tell y'all to do something fun today and i'll talk to y'all later <laughs>